Hey guys, Adam here and welcome to Aturo Island in Timor-Leste. So in today's video I'm going to talk about what a content creator like myself brings on an island getaway. I had the expectation of doing some hiking whilst here on the island plus a little bit of snorkeling and swimming and also wanted to make a couple of videos as well. So that's kind of what I was thinking about whilst over in Dili and preparing to pack. So let's crack into it. The first thing I always bring is my North Face waterproof bag. Now, obvious reasons when you're snorkeling, when you're swimming, also when you're hiking in hot, humid conditions, the waterproof is just fantastic. Keeps your camera dry, keeps your clothes dry and kind of speaks for itself. Next up, we've got the essentials for the island. We've got the fins, we've got the snorkel, and we've got the mask. So as well as the North Face waterproof rucksack, I also bring a Kathmandu cargo tanker so I can get the fins and the uh, snorkel and the mask and so on into it but also I can get some of the equipment that I need for producing videos into it as well. Now this one is, yeah, the Tanker Cargo 30 litres made with 15 plastic bottles, so it's gotta be good, surely. So next up, let's talk about the clothes. So I bought three t-shirts. I've got this white t-shirt, one of my favourites, which I wear all over the place. I've got one of these sports t-shirts which dries very quickly and also light coloured so good in the heat, good for hiking and also snorkel in this as well just so I don't get burnt. And then I've got this merino icebreaker, again good for hiking, quick drying and odour resistant. So three t-shirts for the four days. I've got two pairs of shorts plus the pair that I'm wearing. I wear these for hiking, lots of pockets. They've got good sun protection, nice and comfy. I do bring a pair of socks as well for the hiking. I'm a big fan of the long socks as they offer a bit of protection around the ankles. So when you've got vines and rocks and stuff scraping on the ankles, but also for insects as well, a little bit of uh, mosquito protection. A pair of skins which I wear for the snorkeling and for the hiking. Again, nice and comfy and very quick to dry. So let's talk about footwear. I opted to bring these Timberland shoes. Now they're very comfy. They're not ideal for long distance trekking. And the trek that we did yesterday up Manokoko, it, it took five and a half hours. So it was a little bit longer than we expected. These held up to the task, but they obviously do not have the ankle support. They do not have the grip. So yeah, these weren't ideal. I would have bought my hiking shoes if I had expected to walk quite so long. You've got the trusty jandals, flip-flops, thongs, whatever you want to call them. Really good on the island. Okay, so next up we've got a life jacket and we also have a locator beacon just in case. Now obviously you hope to not have to use these and you can wear it as a super fashionable bum bag or a fanny pack. Now these I really rate, dry sacks. This one's really good quality, nice and thick. And it's also got this shoulder handle as well, shoulder strap. Now if I'm hiking short distance, I'll often just take this rather than a rucksack and I'll put my camera in here and then roll it up to keep it nice and dry. And it's obviously really useful as well when you're in the boat and you're going snorkeling, put your dry gear in here and it's definitely not gonna get wet. Now in climates like this, 33 degrees, 70, 80% humidity, you're gonna need lots of water. So bring your reusable water bottle and just keep filling it up. Two hours 50 in, that be pretty close. So now moving on to the kit that I use for content creating. So I shoot with a Fujifilm X-T20. I've been using that for a couple of years now and yeah, it's something that goes all over the place with me. I shoot videos on it, but it's also fantastic for photographs as well. And because it's a mirrorless, it's got a smaller body, it's lightweight, and that's combined with the Rode video mic. So it's a nice compact camera and microphone and the quality is, yeah, fantastic. 
Now, depending on the purpose of the trip and where I'm going determines whether I bring the MacBook Air. This trip I did because I wanted to produce a couple of videos and this is what I use. I've got an external hard drive Velcroed on to the outside so I never lose it, never forget it, always there and just connect it in with the cable when you need to. And because we plan to do lots of snorkeling here on Aturo Island, we've bought the GoPro Hero 5 Black. It's great fun to get out there and try and capture some of the fish and some of the coral that you see. And I'm still hoping to see a turtle, haven't seen one yet, but fingers crossed. Now this is a piece of kit that's super useful on the island, just in case the power goes out or you're on a hike and you're running low on battery. It's a power bank. This is a 20,000 mAh, and I can get about half a dozen charges of my Fuji film or my GoPro or my phone out of this little bad boy. So yeah, always bring this one. This is a MI, earbuds, obvious reasons, but also when I'm editing and I'm watching the same clip over and over, I can wear these and not the, annoy the hell out of my partner or anyone else around me. And within this little Tice pouch, so Tice is a local woven product here in Timor-Leste. This one's got a little crocodile on it. Very useful for keeping all my kind of random little items. So I've got my GoPro cable. I've got my cable for my external hard drive, very important. And I've also got this USB adapter. So connect this into my MacBook Air. I've got another three USBs. Plus, I can plug my camera SD and micro SD straight into this. And then also, finally, just something to clean the lens on the Fujifilm. Now, I really love this piece of kit. I bought this recently from a friend here in Timor-Leste. She was leaving to go traveling. And uh, yeah, the Evoc CB121 makes me feel super organized and just keeps all my kit nice and tidy. So within the Evoc, you open it up and you've got lots of compartments. So my Fujifilm sits in here, the MacBook Air sits in here. You've got a waterproof pouch here for cables and SD cards. And then for all the other cables and battery packs and GoPros and all that good stuff, it all fits in here nicely. Do it up, nice and organized, nice and safe. So this, Evox EB121 fits nicely in the North Face waterproof bag so I can carry it around on my back during the day and it also goes nicely into the Kathmandu 30 litre tanker as well. And also bring a little torch so that when I need to leave my accommodation at night and go to the toilet nearby, there's no power, no light. This is very useful. Now I certainly haven't packed light as you can see but I've tried to pack the bare minimum so that I could do what I wanted to do when I got here to the island. And that was go snorkeling, go hiking, and capture great videos. And last but not least, the book you're reading at the moment. Super important. Okay guys, I hope you found the video useful. Drop me a comment and let me know if you're planning to take an island break yourself and where you're planning to go. Hit like, and as always, hit subscribe. It really does help. I need to get out of the sun now because it's baking hot and go and enjoy this island. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, Clyde. Yeah. <laughs>